Hello Explorer. Let's see how an abacus works. It helps us to learn counting and perform complex mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now let us learn about the physical structure of an abacus. It is very simple. This is the central beam of an abacus and these little things are called the beads. These beads in an abacus are of two types. The beads above the center beam, that is the upper deck, are called the heavenly beads. The value of one heavenly bead is 5. The bead below the center beam, that is the lower deck, are called the earthly beads. The value of one earthly bead is 1. Simple, isn't it? Now let's revise. This is the center beam. The beads below the center beam are called the earthly beads and the beads above the center beam are called the heavenly beads. There you go, you got it. Now let's do some basic counting on an abacus. To go to the default position of the abacus, you have to push both the heavenly and the earthly beads away from the center beam. This is the default position and it denotes zero. So when there is no bead near the center beam in any of the columns, it means that the value of the particular column or the whole abacus is zero. Now let's start counting. We will avoid all the other columns and focus only on these three right here. This is the ones column, the tens column and the hundreds column. Where there is no bead near the central beam, it denotes zero. Now we are on zero. If we want to count one on an abacus, just move one earthly bead towards the center beam. The value of one earthly bead is one. Now this is one. And to count two, we need to move one more earthly bead. This is 2. Like this, we can go on till 4. 3, 4. Now tell me how to count 5. It is very simple. The value of one heavenly bead is 5. So to count 5, we have to move all the earthly beads away from the center beam and move the heavenly bead towards the center beam. Now this denotes 5 on an abacus. Now you tell me how to write 6 with an abacus. Yes, you got it. If one heavenly bead means 5, you need to move one earthly bead towards the center of the beam. Since the value of one bead is 1, now to count 7, you need to move one more earthly bead towards the center of the beam. It goes like this till 8 and 9. Now tell me, how can we count 10? It is simple. How will we write 10 on a paper? With 1 and 0, right? In these three columns, this is the 1's column. This is the 10's column. And this is the 100's column. So to count 10, put the abacus in default position and move one earthly bead from the tens column towards the center beam. Now the value of the first column is 0 and we put 1 in the second column. So 1 and 0 makes it 10. Simple right? Now tell me how to write 20. Simple. Move one earthly bead from the second column towards the center of the beam. This can go up till 40. 30, 40. How will we write 50 then? Exactly. Reset the abacus to default mode and move the heavenly beads off the second column. 5 and 0. This is how we count 50 on an abacus. Now tell me about 60. We can write 60 by moving one earthly bead towards the center beam. This can go up till 90. 
seventy, eighty, ninety. Now let's look at how to count ninety-one. So there is nine in the tens column. Add one bead in the ones column. That counts ninety-one. Now to count ninety-two, move one bead from the ones column towards the center beam. This is ninety-two. We can count till ninety-nine in the same manner: ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, and ninety-nine. So, explorers, tell me how to count fifty-two on an abacus. Wonderful. Move the heavenly bead from the tens column towards the center beam, and two earthly beads from the ones column. Perfect. Now you can count till ninety-nine on an abacus. If you want to know more about the abacus, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you. For more such interesting content, join the Knowledge Tribe on Facebook and Instagram, or. Tweet to us at Know the Tribe and subscribe to our YouTube channel.